We are gonna fix this broken gaming PC. It's been laying around my house for about a year and we're gonna see if we can fix it. It'll turn on, the fans will spin, the lights will come on, the AIO will start pumping, but this PC will not post. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is replicate the problem. I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna put in this GTX 710 that I know works because I just tested it in a different PC and we're gonna show you that it works in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into the PC. Okay, so now that we got the graphics card in there, everything should be good. We are gonna turn on this PC. If it posts, I'm gonna be mad. As you can see, it doesn't post just like we said it didn't. We've already tried to reset the CMOS by taking the jumper pins and holding it with a screwdriver for a few seconds. That didn't work. We replaced the battery on the motherboard. That didn't work either. The next thing I did was reseat the RAM. I took it out, put it back in, changed it out with some RAM. I definitely knew worked, which is the one that's in there right now, and it didn't. I only put one stick in there at a time, tried all the slots, none of that worked. So our next step of business is to see if it's a motherboard or a CPU. My money's on the CPU because again, it's lighting up and everything, so I'm thinking CPU, but I've got one of each just to make sure, and we're gonna find out which one it is coming up right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is I've taken out, well, I've already done, I've taken out the motherboard over here, and they had a Ryzen 2600X in it. This is the one that's broken. We gotta figure out which one it is, and this is one I bought off eBay. I checked it when I bought it, it worked, but we're gonna double check, because it has been sitting here for a while just to make sure, but it has a Ryzen 3 1200 in it. We put the GTX 710, and we got this power supply that I know works, and we're going to jump it off with the power pins, and we're gonna see if it will post. We have life, RAM lit up, that's good. Aha, we got a post. Like I said, Ryzen 3 1200, I don't know if you can see that from back there. Boot it up here so we know this works. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this cooler, I'm gonna move it over here, just to see if this will boot up, uh, to see if maybe it was an issue with the AIO or something like that, I don't know. We are gonna just try that out first and see what happens. Okay, now we've transferred everything. We put the cooler over here, we put the Ryzen 2600X in here, and we have this motherboard all set up, ready to go. And we're gonna see if it will boot up. Maybe it was the AIO, uh, but I just wanna double check to be sure. It would probably help if I cut the power supply on. We have life, RAM's lighting up. I don't think we're gonna get anything. We're going to take this CPU out and we're going to replace it with uh, the CPU that's over here that we know works and see if that does anything. All right, so we moved the Ryzen 3 1200 over to my old motherboard and that's all that we changed. And we're going to see if it will boot up now with a new CPU. Has power, that's good. It's a good sign. And I thought for sure that was gonna work. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Well, there you go. Just to make sure it's not like a BIOS issue, we're gonna put the Ryzen 2600X in this motherboard that we know works, and we're gonna see if it will do anything at all. It's possible that it could be um, some sort of BIOS issue. Yeah, I think it's gonna be dead. I'll give it just a second in case it needs to like, Oh, wait a minute. Wow. I guess it was some sort of BIOS thing, but at least now I know I've got two sets of motherboard CPUs and RAM that does work. So prepare to see those in a future video. But until then, check out this build.